Hello and welcome to this video which is preparation for your answer. This video is all about going to be how to write your hypothesis. This video is only for people looking for help with the unit 2 and the unit 3 ICs. For your unit 1 IC you are given the hypothesis. So for this section you need to say what you think is going to happen and most importantly to get full marks you need to tell me why you think it's going to happen. So this example here, I'm adding sugar to my tea and I've got granulated sugar and I've got lumps of sugar. So a really, really basic thing to say would be, I think if I add sugar granules to my tea, it will dissolve faster than if I added a lump of sugar. If you want to develop this and get more marks, you need to say that the, how fast the sugar dissolve depends on the surface area. That the granules have a larger surface area, so they dissolve faster than the lumps. We're starting to explain it here. And if you want to get full marks on this type of question, you need to have a really, really clear explanation. So, to develop this and get our full marks, this is because the larger surface area allows more reactions to happen at once, speeding up the rate of reaction. It is really important in your hypothesis that you mention your variables. So my independent variable, the bit that I'm changing, is here, the surface area. The dependent variable, the bit that I'm measuring, is here, how fast it dissolves. And then the rest of it is explanation. So this is another example. I think that if I go outside in a winter coat, I will stay warmer than if I went outside in just a t-shirt. That's a really simple, basic hypothesis. To get the marks, we need to develop this much further. So the rate at which a person cools down is dependent on the thickness of the coat. So our independent variable, the bit that we are changing, is the thickness of the coat. And our dependent variable, the bit that we are measuring, is the rate at which a person cools down. The explanation for this is that this is because a winter coat is designed to keep your body heating and then a bit about the design of the winter coats. They do this by preventing the warm air escaping and have air pockets to do this. So here's another one. I think it will take longer to draw a large circle with a compass than a small circle. That is a really basic, really short hypothesis. If you want the full marks, you have to develop it. I think the speed at which you can draw a circle depends on the size of the circle. So our independent variable, the bit that we are changing, is the size of the circle. And our dependent variable, the bit that we are measuring, is the speed at which you can draw. Now, to get the marks, we have to develop this. The larger the circle, the further the pencil will have to travel. This is because it has a larger circumference and needs to cover more distance. So, these are three examples that I've shown you. So, to do your perfect hypothesis, you need to have your variables in there, your independent and your dependent variables, and then you need to develop it, and you need to explain why, and you need to use your scientific understanding to give me a couple of sentences about why you think this is actually going to happen. Remember, you need to have full stops and capital letters.